So yeah, like going into Cuphead, I didn't know what to expect. I knew it was going to be hard, but I didn't know how hard. I was sold in this game the moment I saw the dedication to the hand-drawn art style many, many years ago. Other games have come out with the same kind of art style, but none of them have hit it the way this game has. You can play this game in either single player as just Cuphead himself, or in two player with Cuphead and his brother Mugman, and the idea is that Cuphead got a little gamble happy and literally bet and lost both his and his brother's soul to the devil. So now, in order to stave off their date with the devil, the two of them have been sent off on a mission to collect the souls of people who are basically in the same predicament as the two of them. I didn't know how fast bosses would just be thrown at you. I didn't know it was like, hey, jump into a game. And, yeah. Oh, look, there's, there's, oh, I'm fighting the boss. All right. And it's, it's really gratifying once you learn the like the the attack patterns you expect this to be some kind of like zany adventure but it's not the game is like 100 percent just boss rush you'll encounter like a stage every once in a while when it's kind of like a little adventure slash platformer style but guess what it ends in a boss fight the game adopts like some type of a uh, try die repeat strategy where you won't be the boss in the first time you'll have to go in blind in your first encounter die a couple of times and then try to formulate some type of strategy to counteract them the next time you fight them you have to be you have to be super precise in this game like you have to know exactly not only do you have to worry about these crazy boss fights where you're fighting like a giant bee that turns into a plane or maybe like a gravestone or even a clown but you also have to worry about what type of power-ups you're bringing into the fight because Cuphead has a lot of different power-ups for how you progress in the game. Not only do you have the standard shot in the game, but you can either have like a try shot that shoots in three separate directions, you can have like a charge shot Mega Man style, or even you can have this boomerang shot that you have to turn around and actually aim it away from your target so the shot will come back and hit them for increased damage. If you have either an Xbox or a Windows 10 based PC and $20 in your pocket, I can't give you a reason for why you wouldn't buy this game. Yeah, especially in the day and age where couch co-ops are so few and far between, Cuphead once again comes in clutch and says, hey listen, we're still giving you this game as a love letter to people who played games back in the day and were more into this type of gameplay. Yeah, and if, if you're the type of person who wants to put money into a game as an investment, Cuphead is definitely going to be that game for you. <laughs> hey, Quantum here. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get the latest content from me and the rest of the MyGameConcierge.com team. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.